Sup guys, Nathan here playing some more Team Fortress 2, and in this video I'm going to be bringing you a sort of breakdown on the new spy weapon, the Red Tape Recorder, so uh, let's get right into it. So if you have not heard about this update or are new to TF2, the Red Tape Recorder was an item recently released uh, in the Triad something or the other update, uh, but anyway, it can be equipped in the Sapper Loadout slot for Spy, and the stats on it are it reverses enemy building construction, but it has a minus 100% Sapper damage penalty. So I will just mention right away that I'm a pretty bad spy and uh, I don't have tons and tons of experience in the class like other people, but uh, I have had my fair share of uh, sapping things, that's for sure. But uh, with the Red Tape Recorder, I've had about five games worth of experience with it, and uh, really Im first impressions is that uh, I personally do not like it, although I can see why some people would. The Red Tape Recorder seems like a more reliable uh, sapper to uh, annoy engineers with, um, I would compare it to the the default sapper as if uh, it's sort of a gamble. So like with the red tape recorder, um, it's really good for sapping things and then you know you're probably going to die, but that's okay, you sapped everything. You got uh, maybe one or two buildings down to level two to annoy the engineer so that he has to spend 200 more metal building it back up and keep him, keeping him busy. However, with the other sapper, you're taking a chance on not dying, killing the engineer, and then outright killing his stuff because I have had it a couple of times now where uh, I would literally sap something, the engineer would be dead, I would respawn and be halfway into the front lines again and the sapper would still be sapping the level 3 building, uh, especially sentries being they have the most health out of all the buildings, but uh, it is just ridiculous how long the sapper takes to destroy things and uh, even if it does downgrade stuff, I mean... I personally prefer the default sapper because when I stab an engineer in the back and sap his stuff, I want that stuff gone down, you know, GG, like I want to help my team out by uh, taking out that area control. But with the red tape, you just don't get that and uh, since it takes so long to actually destroy something, it's not really meant to destroy things, it's just meant to maybe downgrade a sentry to level 1. But what I still don't like about that is that even if it is a level 1 sentry, as easy as those are to uh, destroy with like a heavy or something um, it still represents a small amount of area control and uh, you still couldn't just say like sentry down guys go 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 to get that momentum going for your team so uh, I just prefer the default sapper personally but there are some things that the red tape excels exceedingly at, and that is uh, sapping things in mass. So basically taking out a whole sentry nest. So what is going to happen is that if you sap his teleporter, dispenser, and sentry, what's going to happen is that he is going to start healing his first building, uh, assuming he thinks you're gone or whatever. But uh, let's say he starts healing his sentry first. He's going to keep that sentry at level 3 by destroying the sapper right away, but usually by then you can get uh, a dispenser and or a teleporter uh, down to level 2 uh, by the time he gets around to uh, healing the dispenser, or like his second and third buildings basically. And even though his dispenser and or teleporter might not be destroyed, um, them still being at level 2 is uh, sort of a big deal because a uh, level 2 teleporter does is like a bigger downgrade than you think from a level 3. And uh, dispenser doesn't really like matter that much but uh, because you, you get 60 metal versus 50, which that uh, isn't that big of a deal. But uh, it is definitely a major, major pain in the ass for engineers and uh, I've just heard so many people say that, that it's just such, ah, oh, it's just like so annoying as an engineer if you get sapped with this weapon. So, kind of in summary here, um, a lot of people are saying that the sapper is overpowered, and I would definitely disagree with that. I personally prefer the default sapper, uh, because just outright killing buildings is so much more important than downgrading them, even though uh, downgrading buildings from an engineer standpoint is super, super annoying. So that sort of wraps up the summary of the Red Tape Recorder breakdown. I'm not sure if you could really call it first impressions or a real breakdown, but uh, I know that I haven't had enough games with this weapon to get a super, super, like, solid, right-on opinion of it. But uh, I do know that I have played with it enough to know that I do prefer the default sapper. But uh, one other thing I wanted to tell you guys is that uh, I've been playing with the Flying Guillotine, the new scout secondary, and I uh, actually got about 20 clips with it last night playing on hard 
Harvest. I was playing some pretty uh, Troll Scout, but uh, anyway, I wanted to uh, I actually send the clips into a subscriber of mine that I noticed did a lot of montages, and I basically asked him if he could make a montage for me, and he said yes, so hopefully I should be uh, posting that as well, a Flying Guillotine, the first Flying Guillotine, Flying Guillotine, oh my gosh, that is a mouthful sort of, it's really weird to say a lot, but uh, basically uh, that's going to be like the first montage on YouTube, I haven't noticed any if you type in like TF2 Flying Guillotine montage, I didn't notice any, but uh, definitely um, I'm going to like thank you, like a pre-thank you to my subscriber who makes that, um, and I'm also going to obviously like pay him, uh, I offered to pay him in some TF2 items, and he said sure, why not, so uh, that's what's going to happen guys, and uh, if you like TF2, feel free to subscribe, please like the video if you enjoyed it, I really do appreciate that, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.